I was just feeling so afraid. I was dealing with the spirit of fear. Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna get real and talk about life. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed, you like, you comment, and you grab your notebook and paper and a glass of water. I would say juice, but we're on a diet, we're trying to lose weight, we're trying to have healthy skin, so we're gonna stick to water. <laughs> anyway, so today I just kinda wanted to talk about some things you can do um, if you're feeling afraid, if you're dealing with fear, if you're dealing with stagnation, if you just feel like you're hopeless and you don't know what to do, then this is the video for you. So I know that there's a lot going on in the world now and it has put a lot of fear into people and it may not necessarily be worldly issues you're dealing with. You can be dealing with your own personal issues and you just feel so afraid, you just feel so stuck. Um, I believe that what I'm about to share with you will really help get you out of that pit and have you moving forward. I know that I've been in a place before in life where I was just feeling so afraid, I was dealing with the spirit of fear, I was dealing with feeling stagnated and kind of like not knowing what to do with my life or where my life was exactly going, I was just feeling stuck, like I don't know if you've ever come to that point where you just feel like, goodness, like I can't move, like I don't know what to do, right? Um, and it's a hard place to be in, trust me, I've been there before and by the grace of God, He's helped me. It's not okay to remain in that stuck position forever. You have to also do active things on your part to get you out of that pit. So it's not enough to just cry. It's not enough to just pray. You can't throw yourself a pit, pretty pity party. One thing I've learned about God is that God is not a God who will entertain your sadness. He will not entertain or tolerate you being down and depressed and being in a funk. He will come and tell you, get up, this is what you need to do, you need to be active. And so, I said, I just wanna share some things with you. So, we're gonna get into the Bible today. I'm gonna be looking at the book of Exodus. We're gonna look at two chapters, or not two chapters, one chapter, but we're gonna hop in between some verses. So, I don't know if you're familiar with the story of the Israelites. Um, they were essentially captured by the Egyptians and they were enslaved by them. Um, for years they cried out to God, God heard them, sent Moses to deliver them. And as they were leaving Egypt, right, they thought that they had their freedom. Well, they did have their freedom. But little known to them that Pharaoh, who was their slave master, was even going to chase them down on the way to their promised land. So just imagine this. You feel like God has delivered you from something. You feel like God has answered your prayer. And then something else comes knocking at your door. Something else comes to input fear into you. Something else comes to discourage you, right? I think that we can all relate with that. And this is what they were going through at the time. So in Exodus 14 verses, I'm going to read from 10. It says, And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. So they were very afraid to go. And the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. Much like some of us, we're, we've been in situations, we are in situations where we're just so fearful, we're so afraid. And we constantly cry out to God through prayer, through whatever means when you're laying down in bed, whatever, you're just crying out to God, God help me, right? I want us to take note of God's response. In verses 15 it says, And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. We're gonna stop right there. You know, it gets to a certain point where in as much as we pray and as much as we cry out to God, God expects us to take action, to go forward. Don't remain stuck in your tears. Don't remain stuck in your fear. Go forward. 
And that's the message I have for you today. Whatever fear you're dealing with, whatever stagnation you're dealing with, you've cried enough. Continue in prayer. Prayer is always important, but do not remain in that stuck place. Go for it. That's it. It's not a magical trick. God himself told the Israelites that, like, listen, what are you crying for? Wipe your tears and go for it. So my advice, my tip I want to share quickly today is whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever has made you so fearful, so downcast, so depressed, listen, just go for it. Go for it means forget that thing that has kept you bound and go for it. God asked Moses, why are you crying out to me? Why? Just go for it. So I'm here to tell you, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling, I don't know, limited, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling stagnant in life, wipe your tears and go forward. Take action. Don't worry about who's chasing you. Don't worry about who's talking about you. Don't worry. Don't get too much focus. Do not feed that negative situation that seems to be bothering you so much. You cry out to God, go for it. That's my tip for today. I really hope that this blesses you. I really hope that you take this in and learn that God expects you to go for it. You've cried, you've prayed, continue to pray. But in that, go for it. God is a God of movement. God is a God of action. Faith is taking action on your prayers, right? Faith is moving in alignment with what you've trusted God for. So keep praying, move forward. I love you guys so much. Subscribe and be on the lookout for next week's video. Bye. -bye.